Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to add a water reflection to a photograph in GIMP 2.8. This is how our image is going to look like at the end of this tutorial. What I like about this effect is that it's neat and it looks very realistic. This is the image I'm going to work with. As you see, just a simple photo of some flowers in the field and now we are going to add some water to it. First of all, I'm going to zoom out so that I can see better when I work with this image. Now I'm going to add a mirror reflection to this image. I'm going to FX Foundry Layer Effects Apply Mirrors. Here you need to choose vertical direction, image doubles should be one and uncheck work on copy. Now we've got the image with this little reflection. Next step we need to find out the dimensions for our water layer. Using crop tool select the area where you want your water to appear later on. In tool options check the size of the layer and write it down, mine is 600 by 400 pixels and then get rid of the selection by clicking somewhere on the canvas. Next go to script foo map water reflection map. Now add the size values which you wrote down and the rest leave as it is. Here we go, we've got our water. Copy the bottom layer which is called Y and paste it to our original image. Go to Edit, Copy. Actually I'm going to delete this image of water because I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to edit and paste. We've got our water layer and I'm going to call it Reflection. We need to move this water layer to the bottom of the image. Select Align tool, click on the water layer and now on the arrow pointing downwards. See our layer has moved down. Now I want to transform this water layer a bit, just to, for some extra effect. Take transform tool, click on the image. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. And I'm just pulling the two bottom points to the sides, to the left and right. and click transform. Next step is very important so don't miss it. Make sure that a layer reflection is selected, go to layer, layer to image size. Now select your background layer, go to filters, map, displays. Here the bigger your image the bigger should be your X and Y values. I like my Y value being double to the X value. So I choose 15 and 30. Then I choose Cartesian for the displacement mode and smear for the edge behavior. Select your reflection layer and set it to hard light, uh, somewhere about 50% opacity. Add a new transparent layer. Take the rectangle select tool, select the area of the water and then click in the middle of the image just to activate the selection. Feather your selection by 20 pixels. Set a dark blue color for your foreground. 
take blend tool, set it foreground to transparent, shape to linear and pull from the top of your selection to the bottom. Now select known to get rid of the selection, set it to hard light and to about 13% opacity. As you see it just adds a bit of a tint to our water. Well, we are nearly there. Now we're going to merge our layers. Go to image, merge visible layers. Now I want to crop my image a bit because I don't really like that bottom bright part. Zoom a bit in just to see better. Last step is only optional. I'm going to add some vignette to my image. So I'm going to create a new layer now. Then go to Tools, GEGL Operation and Vignette. What I want uh, to achieve basically here is to darken the sides of my image. I'm setting this layer to overlay, you see, before and after. Just a bit, slight difference basically. Time to flatten our image, image, flatten image. And I'm going to zoom in to show you the final results. As you see, with this image, this effect of water looks very natural, very realistic and I'm very pleased with it actually. But to be honest, it doesn't work with every image equally well. So it's up to you and up to your image whether it will work for you or not. This is it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!